Hey, Rob. Yep. Departed, Good Shepherd. It ends with Good Shepherd. Yeah, fine. I'm gonna go down. It's kind of an odd thing because it's actually called as if it's like a company called The Basement. It never really was supposed to be a company. It just happens to be my basement. And when people ask us where to ship something, it's like, I don't know. And Ron said, well, call it The Basement. I'm Rob Legato, and I like to direct and shoot and edit. I'm Ron Ames. I am the uh, Basement's producer and assistant director. I'm Adam Gristel. I'm the uh, editor and digital artist of The Basement. Roll video. Modern filmmaking is an immediate thing, and the Adobe Tools allows you to um, be immediate. I just want to comp it and see what it looks like. Right. Is the video tap on? We are a visual effects department, but we're not really. We're an extension of editorial, we're an extension of the filmmaker's vision. And that's really Rob's whole concept of the basement. We come in and problem solve using the Adobe Tools and, and all of the digital tools that are available to us. If I'm shooting for Robert De Niro and I can't communicate my thought to him without him seeing my finished thought, I would edit something in my hotel room and show him on an iPod and say, this is what I had in mind. Yeah, I'm excited about production premium. I love the idea that now I can have all of the tools on my laptop and take it everywhere. For The Good Shepherd, we were able to do probably about 150 to 200 shots, all using Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere and basically the Adobe suite of products. And we're able to finish that amount of shots to the standards of a Robert De Niro movie. Well, the way the commercial, the Nissan Maximo spot came up is the agency had an idea in their head they wanted to see, a Nissan Maxima was running inside of a trumpet, what would that look like? So I could pre-visit live with the agency and I could basically cut shot for shot what I thought it should be action-wise and have multiple angles and edits, show them with music and sound effects. Having this integrated Adobe product was really crucial because we had to move fast. We had to be able to edit, composite, paint, and make a DVD all within a couple days. And being able to just jump from one software package to the next and not have to translate into some special format for one product. We're filmmakers, not engineers. Production Premium is just a set of tools to us. The fact that they all work together in an integrated way is really very helpful. These were time-sensitive commercials. It was a Chevy spot for the Thanksgiving Day Parade, and the other one was New Year's. Plus, it was a flying car carrier. We had to create a world from scratch. We didn't do all the compositing, so what we had to do was find a way to integrate their cut into our workflow, and we can use the Adobe products like Premiere and like After Effects to be able to link all those together using EDLs and using time code and using tapes. Both for Nissan and Chevy, once we had our comps in After Effects, we could use Dynamic Link into Premiere and be able to lay off that tape and go back to After Effects to tweak any, any edits or any uh, last minute compositing we wanted to do and quickly jump into Premiere where our timeline was already set and play off the tape in a real time scenario. We don't have to render again. Production Premium, the new tools, will allow us to take all formats and put them up to the web or send it to a cell phone or put it in an iPod. It's going to be extremely helpful. We sort of call it like desktop filmmaking. It's what, it's what it used to do for uh, printing. The same thing with, with filmmaking now. It's desktop filmmaking. I'll show you exactly what the cut's going to look like. I'll show you exactly with sound and music and titles across it. And with these tools that really don't cost a whole lot of money, we can basically make films here in the basement. That works great. So the shot's all almost, but done. Almost done.